It is forerunner time. And what we're talking about today is some accessories that you could get from the factory, from the regional port on your stock forerunners. This is a 2021 TRD Pro in super white, but I wanna show you what's been added to this vehicle. It's not just stock. First of all, let me explain how Toyota USA is broken up into regions, multiple regions based on where people live. There's the Gulf States region, there's Southeast Toyota where I'm affiliated with, there's also Mid-Atlantic, there's the Denver region, so many different regions, I can't even count them all. Matter of fact, I don't even know them all. But the important thing to notice is that when the vehicle comes in from its original factory, whether it's in Japan, like this one here, or the United States, like Georgetown, or Indiana, or San Antonio, or Mississippi, it goes to your region's port, where it's finished, it's customized, it's personalized, it's individualized each one might have no options on it not even floor mats or carpet mats it might not even have running boards or extras or it might have a lot we've been lucky enough to have this one land in our lap at my dealership it's available by the way if you're interested um, nobody's bought it yet we traded for it so this one is a great example of what we did to jazz it up to make it your own. First of all, the third row, where that would normally be in some forerunners, well, you get a cargo choice. Not a third row, but you can have it be empty or you can have a sliding rear cargo deck. This has to come from the factory. It cannot be added at a regional assembly point. It cannot be added at a dealership after the fact. I don't know about aftermarket companies. We get a lot of questions. I do personally on that one. Can I add the cargo deck after the fact? No. Okay, it holds. 440 pounds, it's perfect for doing work or watching games, that kind of stuff. Something that my region can add, I don't know about your regions, is the center console safe. Open me. How can you ever turn down a sign that says open me? Better yet, how can you turn down one that says don't open me? All right, so right here we've got a lock. It does not open right now, but this is a good spot to put in your items that you don't want people to see. Maybe your wallet, keys, sunglasses, firearms, that kind of stuff. And it opens up so that you can lock in items that you don't want people to get to or you need to have locked up. And then you can use a code system here but the lock that's what i use because we don't want to put in a code before somebody buys it the next feature i want to tell you about is actually the touch keypad and that's a southeast toyota option and i'm not sure if it's available in other regions but it's pretty nifty we've seen them on fords and you walk up to this and i'll show you this in a minute but it's a keypad and it has the numbers one through zero one through ten Real easy, but it's a way that you can lock and unlock your doors without having your keys. Have you ever been to the beach and then you walk all the way up to the car and you realize, oh, the keys are with my bag on the beach still. So you could actually get into this. I'm sure there are several other uses, but it's real easy. Here's what the keypad looks like. Just like that. I'll be doing a video to show you guys how to do it, but through a series of just touching two buttons, you can lock it and then there's a five digit code that you program yourself to unlock it and then you can set it to the default settings you can erase all of your settings that you had it's very easy to perform as a matter of fact if we look in the vehicle there's a set of instructions that come with the vehicle on how to use the touchpad Pretty simple stuff, but the value in this is tremendous. Forerunner comes with stock 17 inch alloy wheels. They're black with the red logo. And then they have the all-terrain Nidoterra grappler tires on them. But what would look better with that red accent, the red TRD logo, than caliper covers? That might be a reasonably priced option where you can totally customize so people know that you've added your own personal touch to it. I'm gonna give a list of the options and the pricing at the end of the video.
You know, you spend this much money on a vehicle, why would you also not want to protect it? And one of the ways that you can do that, it's real subtle, but it makes a big difference, I feel, clear paint protection. Now, some people don't want that on their vehicles at all. Some people have their own methods for doing it. Some people would love to have that. So I'm gonna show you the door and the hood. What we're gonna find, we'll show you the hood one first. And here is the hood protection. You know, on cars, on Toyotas, it used to only go on the front, say, quarter portion. One quarter portion. That's from The Force Awakens. But see, you can see the strip here. And because it's clear, it still looks like it's color keyed. That would be the hood. You can also get it on the side mirrors. You can see that seam right there. It's supposed to have new technology where it's not gonna fade over time and discolor or maybe yellow, I would imagine people would be worried about. Also inside the door cups here, this is a common place where people with their rings or their keys might scratch that up. I see a lot of used trade-ins that have, gosh, tens and tens and tens of scratches on it. And then here's along the door seam. But see, as we fade out, you don't see it so much. We can also see it in this door cup and right along here. These are common places where you see chips in the paint from various reasons. And I imagine there's no more sickly feeling than finding a chip on your new TRD Pro 4Runner or Camry XSE or Avalon Touring or Tacoma Off-Road. You don't want to see it at all. You spend too much money. This next one here, I put the car in the shade because there's no way you're going to be able to see that in bright sunlight. So it's an LED interior and exterior illumination package. What? And what this does is when you hit the key fob to unlock the car, it's gonna light up underneath the vehicle and also in the footwells inside the vehicle. I'll see if I can show you this. It's gonna to be tough. We'll do our best. Vehicle's locked. It's unlocked now. And at night, you'd be able to see underneath your vehicle a little bit of illumination. It would help for visibility and also for safety. So I'm gonna go up close so you can see give you a fighting chance to see what this is all about. I'm finagling this camera so you can see underneath it. There we go. So now, see that? Locked, unlocked, unlocked. They're LEDs, so hopefully that'll allow some visibility underneath. Fine, I'll make sure it works on the passenger side also. Here we go. All the way down. Let there be light. And then we're gonna go inside so you can see the interior lights here. It's pretty bright, actually. Yeah, that should show a little bit for you. I'm not sure if we'll be able to see it down here or not. Let's try it. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. You can see that. A little better look at the interior seating. It's black with red accents. You can see TRD Pro is stamped everywhere. It's on the shifter. It's on the headrest. It's not on that 8-inch multimedia touchscreen or that 4.2-inch multi-information display. But what I wanted to show you was also added at the regional assembly point. And I would guess a lot of regions do this. Two fast charging extra USB ports. So you've not only got in here, two more there. That really helps. And then what Forerunner also has is standard chargers right there in the back. So backseat passengers, and that's standard on all the forerunners starting with 2020 and beyond. Lots of leg room, head room, shoulder room, second row. I love it. Now I'm gonna walk around and show you, got some black emblem overlays that were added.
that's the dealership that we just traded this for. That's why it's got dirt on it. It just came from Jacksonville, Florida. Now it's in Raleigh, North Carolina here. One thing I like about this one is the addition of across the board on 2021 Forerunners LED headlights. It's got high intensity fog lights. It also has on this level LED high beams. I'll see if I can show you that. That's high beams, so we've got LED high beams now. This car starting with 2020 models and carrying over, of course, to 2021. It has Toyota Safety Sense on it. You'll notice the TRD Pro is going to have the black accented hood scoop. And then the ground clearance will be 9.6 inches. If it was a two-wheel drive, not that you'd find that on the TRD Pro, it'd be nine inches. So like an SR5 four by two would be nine inches. What do you guys think? Are you impressed so far? Did it give you any ideas for customizing yourself? Another thing that was added at dealership level and it's real handy, especially here where it's 95 and humid, seems like half the year, but window tinting. And you can tell it's got window tinting on it. It comes with factory privacy glass, so it'll be darkened already. But if you see this little difference in coloring, that's what it comes like stock. And then this is with the tinting and it matches pretty well that standard privacy glass that's on the back quarters. Some other additions, a cargo net, really good for laying across here. And then if you've got milk or soda bottles that might roll around or something, just stick them in there or sports equipment or maybe muddy shoes that you just want out of the way. Also this cargo cover, it comes over here, let's get that right. And then you can hide things that are in this small section. Like me, and you'd never know I was here. Except for I talk too much. You'd probably find out. The other thing that was added is this all weather cargo tray. And notice that it's lip, so that way if something lip from Shameless. Anyway, if it's lipped, that means something wet or liquidy, like you spilled detergent, it, uh, the, the cap comes off on the way home from the grocery store, it's not gonna leak all over. Or maybe muddy shoes or sports equipment, just put it here and don't have to worry about it getting on to more important things that you don't wanna get all sudsy and dirty and slimy and grimy. This window sticker here is filled with lots of valuable information. First thing, we're gonna go with TRD Pro 4x4 Super White with the black interior and then it's made in Japan. Here's the 4Runner safety guide. The fuel mileage on every 4Runner is going to be the same, 16, 19, 17. Here's the factory MSRP and it'll be interesting to see how that changes as you add value and as you add price with each option. Cargo deck 350. I'm going to give you the standard features afterward we do the price. So then we've got delivery to the dealerships. That puts us at 51,900. And then we're gonna add in lots of options. And to me, at least 50% of these would be valuable to me personally looking to upgrade my vehicle. I would probably be running boards or step bars in addition to some of these things as well. I love the black emblem overlays. I would use the cargo cover because I keep my laptop. Or if we're going to the beach, I would wanna cover up what we got in the back. I would use the front chargers. So me and my co-pilot, we wouldn't have to fight over charging. But that does add to the price. So here we've got 54,790. This one's now in Raleigh at Fred Anderson Toyota. Thanks so much for watching. This would be a great time for each and every one of us to write down a comment or two and tell me which of these features and upgrades you would be interested in, would be good for you, for your family, which ones you'd have no business getting at all and you wouldn't want to pay for, that would be interesting because each of us in our minds, probably during the video, we're kind of customizing it, we're making it our own. And there's no better way to celebrate a new vehicle than to make sure it fits you and your personality, your function, how you would use it. So, leave us that. Also, please hit like if you like the video, let me know. Also, hit subscribe. Join my Toyota community. We want our forerunner thoughts and comments and beliefs and feelings to be heard.
We are one. We love Toyotas. And also, hit the notification bell. You'll be alerted when I come out with new videos. You'll see pictures of this one, I promise, within the next couple days on Instagram at Toyota Jeff one You'll see Facebook posts, different type of variety, on Toyota Jeff Facebook. Yeah. I write for Torque News, torquenews.com slash Toyota, where you can see breaking news, rumors, updates, reviews, how-tos. You'll see it all. I write just about everything. I love variety. Hey, thanks everyone so much. You can check out my Amazon top picks list. That's right in the description section. See what I recommend to add value or fun to your household. Woo! -hoo -hoo! Yeah, baby. And then you can visit my website. Yeah. Woo! -hoo -hoo! Yeah, baby. ToyotaJeff.com. Thanks everyone so much and we'll see you next time.